Hi guys, I hope you're all good. Today I'm gonna to run through a really quick dinner for you, but it's always a winner in this house. It's chicken and mushroom volivans. We're gonna make our own sauce. It's so easy, so let's get started. Now for the sauce, all we need is some mushrooms. Now you wanna chop them quite fine. And also I have half a leek. You don't have to use a leek. You can use an onion. You don't have to use anything at all. You can just use your mushrooms. The leek just has nice flavour, so I have half a leek in here as well. Again, chops quite small, and I have half a pint of the chicken stock, the jelly, jelly um, stock pots, uh, but I'm only using half of one because they're quite salty, so I'm just using half of that in half a pint of water. Fry up your leeks for about a minute and a half, two minutes until they soften. Okay, I've added my chopped up mushrooms, and I've let them fry there for a few minutes, and I'm going to add the tiniest little bit of wine. You do not have to do this. It just adds a lovely flavor, but certainly isn't important if you don't want to add it. And um, I'm gonna let that reduce down so there's very, very little liquid left in the pan and I'll come back. Okay, so the wine is completely burnt off. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of flour and I'm gonna mix that all up and just let that cook away for another minute or two. This is what's gonna thicken up your sauce. So just leave that there for a minute. I've just added half a pint of chicken stock to that and I've let it come to the boil and I'm going to add about half a cup of warm milk. I've added a little bit of milk. You don't have to add milk. You can use that sauce just like it was before we added the milk. It just gives a nice creamy um, colour to it. I'm going to bring that to the boil and that's your sauce done. Okay, I've just added some salt and pepper and some parsley that I have had frozen in my freezer some fresh parsley chopped up in a ziploc bag that's your sauce now next i'm just going to add some meat you can fry your chicken separately and add it or you can have a chicken cooked from yesterday that's usually what i do i actually have some ham in there as well just left over from yesterday's roast dinner and that is your filling finished ready to fill my volivon cases have completely cooled. It's really important that you let them cook, cool completely. And very gently, just cut that little circle out of the top. Take it out and set it aside. And you can see inside, if you wanna just get your knife and break it down a little bit, but gently, so that you're making a little bit of room. Actually, a teaspoon will be better for that. So if you want to just make some space in there for your filling. Okay, so to fill your volivon, I usually use a teaspoon. It's easier to get the filling inside. And just take your time. You can push it down as you're going along and make sure it's completely filled. And bring it right to the top. Make sure you get them juices in there. And when you've completely filled it, you just pop back your little lid and you're done. And there you have it, super easy, quick, delicious, tasty tea, done in 20 minutes. I'm gonna serve this with some salad and baby potatoes. If there's any left over, I'll have them in the fridge for lunch tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to share, keep me here on Instagram, tag a friend if you think they'd like the recipe too, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.